Hello guys, let's figure out how to create these looped waves frame by frame today. First, create a file. From the template library, I choose square. Set frames per second to 12 and duration to one. Click draw. Let's start by drawing the first wave. I choose a bright color and collapse the interface into flipbook mode. Start drawing dots. We need to draw five dots in a zigzag pattern, which look like the letter M. Try to draw them evenly. Now switch to the next frame and invert their position so they look like the letter W. Okay, now on the next layer, we need to draw these dots in the center of the adjacent verticals. Switch to draw mode and I duplicate this frame with dots horizontally. So we have four frames. Basically, this is already a looped base for our animation. Now we need to stretch it to one second. We set FPS to 12, so we need to make 12 frames. So we need to add two frames after each. I collapse the interface with Flipbook and add these frames. So we have a total of 12 frames. Let's check the preview to test the speed. Now let's go back to Flipbook mode our task is to fill in the empty intermediate frames. To do this, draw dots that approach the center. Divide the interval into two and add the necessary dots. And do the same for all new frames. Pay attention to the direction of motion for each point. Check the preview. So we loop the points. Now I switch to Timeline Edit mode and group these tracks into a group. Now create a new track and start drawing a wave on each frame that encircles these points. Check the preview. Well, now let's move on to a more complex wave. Create a new track, choose a bright color, draw the same letter M as before. The difference is that we add a new color to diagonal points to avoid mistakes in motion. Create a new frame, outline the points in the same places, only moving the colors. Imagine that our points have shifted one to the right. Now add an intermediate frame between the first and second, and draw the shift of these points to the middle between the adjacent positions. It looks like the letter W. And on these same points, draw frame 4, paying attention to the movement of the color. So we have four frames that also serve as a basis for a looped wave. Now similarly, we need to add two frames after each existing frame to get 12. Now switch to flipbook mode, we also need to add two frames between adjacent points. I start drawing with one color, and then add the second. Let's do the same with the rest of the intermediate frames. Check the preview. Super! We got a looped base. Now we also need to create a new track and draw a line through the points. Well guys, let me know if this lesson was helpful or interesting. Thanks, and see you in the next video.